Hey guys and welcome to Broken Sword 3. I just can't believe that so many people keep commenting and asking for Broken Sword. I don't really blame you guys because I love it. I love the adventures of George and Nico but I just never really thought it would be as popular as it has been but you guys seem to really want it so here it is. I also had a few comments to skip three and four and get straight to five as three and four are in this sort of a different format 3d format I believe but I definitely don't want to skip them if I try it and I really don't like it then I guess I will just continue off camera however I do think that it's really crucial to play three and four because I'm pretty sure that the story is continued so I definitely don't want to miss out on any story I think we should just get started with broken sword three and find out exactly what this one is all about Okay, so here we go, new game. Stormy night in Paris by the looks of it. Looks really good so far. Oh, that is... Hmm, hi. He's dressed um, nicely, Receptor, isn't he? My lord, it has begun. The power is already building. Are you ready for your task? We shall not fail hmm. you, my lord. The price of failure is Armageddon. God, the wind. Okay. Look at that symbol, the broken sword. Very, very interesting. I wonder if they harness power in storms or if he just thinks that storm is something significant. Ah, I love that. The music is so nice. Wow. That is one big flame. Hang on, who's flying it? <laughs> Maybe George. You got a girlfriend, George? No, nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does that mean? Oh, there was a girl in Paris, but it didn't work out. <laughs> oh, way to go, mate. I've heard about those French babes. <laughs> I think she'd be interested in a good-looking Aussie Bushman, eh? Only if it helped her <laughs> career. Whether oh, like no. This, the old crate flies herself. How about weather like That's that? That's so embarrassing. He's not an Aussie. Not a true representation of me. <laughs> Alright, so this is very, very bad weather. Another couple of seconds and we'll be laughing. Right. Not laughing now. You have to have a in, sw swig of beer for courage. Hang on. To lose both engines. I think it's got something more to do than Meanwhile, storm. as Paris wakes to yet another clear hot day, in the south, the bizarre weather continues. Marseille. 20 days of rain, Bordeaux, Turkey, and across the world, from Beijing to New York, there are reports of earth tremors, floods, and typhoons. Okay. Who is it? Vernon Blier, it's Nico Collard. You're early. You said it was uh, urgent? Hmm. <laughs> Nosy landlord. We don't have much time. The power sources are building to a peak. It's all in the manuscript. Mm. Look, I decoded it. No one's ever done that. They paid me serious money. But the earth? We're all in danger. Now they want to kill me because I know too much. <gasps> So that's Nico herself wants to kill that guy as well. Everyone wants to kill that poor guy. Oh, that is one lucky landing. 
Wow, that looks so cool. Somehow we <gasps> landed in the jungle. And <laughs> I was alive. It's a miracle, and Georgie. I smelt smoke. I was gonna have to get out and fast. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Um first time. Give me give me a chance here. With the seatbelt fastened, I wasn't going anywhere. Uh yes, Georgie. But Hang on, is this with a controller only? Because I can't see a mouse. I don't have a mouse button. I have no idea what button. I oh, it's S. I the seatbelt carefully. Okay, so it's W S A D to use the little controls on the bottom right. I'm getting there. So our little controls down the bottom right, I assume, are look, touch, use. A buckle and strap held the crate tightly to a metal frame. Can we undo it? No. To move a box, hold down the use button and move the character forwards or backwards. A buckle and strap held the crate tightly to a metal frame. Oh, okay. Well, the buckle was quick we, release. Um, I soon had the crate freed up. Nice. Awesome. So, what are we going to do with this? What are we going to do with the crate? <laughs> oh, guys. I am still learning what on earth to do here. Do I move it back and forth, left to right? Or do I not even bother moving this crate at all? I don't know. Let's pick up that beer bottle. You never know when a beer is going to come in handy. Exactly. Exactly, Georgie. What's happening with this dude? Is he Whoa, dead? Whoa, Harry! What's going on? <gasps> Harry? He's probably dead, mate. This thing is very Man, precariously positioned. We weren't safe at all. We were balanced on the edge of a cliff. And now I was trapped in the rear half of the plane. Awesome. Press the inventory button to view the items that George has collected. Bottle of beer. George's notepad. Meeting Colo Mondali at his lab in Congo. Australian pilot Harry Gilligan waiting to willing to fly me out to meeting. Okay. Harry. Oh no way. This was gonna send the plane over the edge of the cliff. I get it. If we're on the front of the plane, the, um, it it tips, it tips, it tips. So I can't grab this box, can I? Oh yes, I can. Okay, what am I meant to do with this box then? Oh, what if I put it in the back so it, it is heavy and weighs down the rear of the plane? Does that make sense? I actually really like the 3D style. I don't have a problem with that at all. I think it looks cool. I'm happy. There we go. Let's grab the fire extinguisher. Very important. Um, oh, that's to put it back. Well, we don't want to do that. We'll take that and... Harry's fire extinguisher was in worse shape than Harry. <laughs> okay. Harry's fire extinguisher was in worse shape than Harry. Awesome. When more than one object is in range, multiple object highlight symbols appear. To move between these objects, press the object cycle button. Literally, is which is what? It doesn't say what anything is. Oh, guys. Next object is page up. All right. Cool page up okay so there's a fire over there so let's put out that fire the fire extinguisher <laughs> was empty shame awesome that's great um can i do anything else with it here go oh i can smash the window out oh i see and that is our exit point then yes all right. Um, Harry, are you okay, dude? Harry! Harry, wake up! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to... Slapping him wasn't gonna work. Hmm. Then how can I get him to wake up? I do have a beer. 
Searching Harry turned up a handy bottle opener. Ooh. Let's uh, use a bottle of beer with the bottle opener. The controls, guys, are so wonky. I'm trying my best. So open beer bottle. Can we use that with Harry? There he goes. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh, came to a while back. <laughs> Thought I'd grab 40 winks. Oh, I don't get much chance in my line. Oh. What were you doing flying us into that storm? You nearly got us killed. Oh, calm down, will you? The storm came from nowhere. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Weird. So how far is it to the landing strip? Well, not far. We were right on top of it when the storm hit. Okay, that's good news. That's good news. Well, do you have anything else to you say? You okay, Harry? Sure, mate. All right. Um, oh, this is stuff I can ask him about. The plane's completely trashed. Ah, no big deal. <laughs> awesome. Well, how can you be so calm about it? Doesn't care. It? I won it in a card game. Great. Terrific. Got a free tank of fuel, too. Which was lucky. Why? <laughs> well, we wouldn't have got here without it. Great. Do you drink this stuff all the time? <sighs> Tastes like angel sweat. Gross. Uh, bottle opener? I borrowed your bottle opener. <laughs> no sweat. <laughs> angel sweat. Okay, well, see ya. That's enough. That's enough for you. Um, so I'm guessing we just head out the window. Oh! Whoa! Maybe not. I was going to need more weight at the back of the plane. But what? But can't we put Harry Are there? you trying to kill us? <laughs> Can we put you at the back of the plane, dude? You okay, Harry? Sure, mate. Plane tilts, yeah. Harry, we need more ballast at the back of the plane. Mm -mm. Okay, George, if you think it'll help. It definitely will. Okay, so you get down there, Harry. I like I like having Harry around. He's he's okay. I would like to grab those manuals for for reasons unknown. All right, Georgie, get out of there. So how do we get Harry out though? Harry, just don't move. <laughs> you bet. Oh god, I don't trust that guy. No. Not yet. Oh my Harry, god, stay there. So he's gonna die. Why? <laughs> Whoa! Are you kidding? Oh, fantastic. Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry. Thanks a lot, dude. Thanks a lot. Phew. That was close. Oh, I don't know. Could have been worse. Well, we're not, that's not too bad. Yeah? I might still have been in it. <laughs> Trying to cheer me up, Harry? Ha! Ah, you know, you're not bad for a yank. That makes <laughs> me feel a whole lot better. We make a great team. Hmm. Oh, I could help you out. Here, with your work. Be your driver. Sort out the locals. Cool. Look at this. This is fun, guys. I like this. Harry. Like I told you, I'm only here to meet someone, then I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, maybe I know the fella. I doubt it. Guy called Chalmundali. Never heard of him. Exactly. <laughs> What's he do? He's a scientist. Well, what kind of a scientist? He lives in the jungle, says he's built a machine that can create limitless energy. Cool. I'm a patent lawyer. He wants me to write the patent, make us all rich, okay? Oh. Capiche? Oh, I see. A mad scientist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> awesome. I don't want to be rude, George, but did you seriously <laughs> believe all that crap? Of course not. But have you ever lived in Idaho? Fair enough. Now what are we going to do? Oh, you lead the way. Don't know what that means, guys. All right, I think we just, um... Oh, damn! <laughs> oh, we have limited time. Quit messing around, mate. I'm Guess not. next time I'll avoid the scenic route. Yeah, well, when you've had your bit of fun, I'll see you at the top. Well, I'm trying to get there. I'm literally trying to get there. I have no idea what I'm doing. I wanted to get over to that other side. Oh, we can sort of move around here, but that doesn't really do anything. Well, all right then, well, let's get up the top. I, I thought that was where we had to go. 
What's that? Oh, oh, guys, I got to I got to admit, I'm struggling a bit with the controls, <laughs> with knowing what the buttons are. I'm trying my best. I'm sure I'll get it soon, though. Am, am I meant to be going this way? That can't be safe to jump through a waterfall. Surely the pressure would, would get to you. Alright. No, we can't go that way. It does not allow us to get over. There is a cave over there, though. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting there. It's just going to take me an awfully long time to understand what to do. I hope you guys forgive me. Alright, this is looking good. Now, we'll just shimmy our way along. That's it, Georgie. Come on, that's it. I find it very interesting that he once again does not have Nico. They seem to be very on again, off again, constantly. I don't know why. I mean, George is a lovely fellow. What? What's wrong with him, Nico? Please. Stay with Georgie. Alright, let's get over here. We're getting there slowly. That's it. That's it. Um, up here or up there? Could be it. Could be either way, really. And that that's that's the beauty of it. It's a puzzle. There we go. Oh, we found this cave. Oh, last time, where is he? I don't know. I don't know. For God's sake, I've told you everything I know. For which I am deeply grateful. Nevertheless, it was always my intention. To kill you. Goodbye, Mr. <gasps> Cholmondley. How many times? It's not Cholmondley, it's... Whoa. Are they going to be straight out Sunday of morning. that cave? I was three months behind on the rent. Oh, no. And my editor had given me another bum assignment. <laughs> an interview with some hacker about the end of the world. Where had it all gone wrong? Mm. Was I never going to get that lucky break? Mm. What had happened to my glittering career in journalism? <laughs> and then, everything changed. Oh! Oh! I thought that the, the man on the computer was Nico holding the gun at him. But no, in there is someone else that shot him. I totally got that wrong. And I apologize, Nico. I am very sorry. I'm <laughs> very sorry <laughs> to think of you in that way. Oh, listen at the door. I could hear the TV. Perhaps someone was in. Could I knock and get some help? No answer. Either they couldn't hear or they didn't want to hear. That's the old uh, landlord lady, isn't it? No. The door was locked. Locked, locked, locked. Look, I have a feeling that I need to not go in the door where the gunshot is. Running away wasn't an option. <laughs> All right. If I was going to get the story, I had to get inside that apartment. Okay, okay. Well, I don't think it's going to be... If we open this door where the gunshot came from, not safe. Not it was safe. Quiet. But that didn't mean the place was empty. I don't think we should go in, but I'm, I'm going to try. The door was securely locked. Okay. I needed to find another way if I was going to get into that apartment. 
All right, no worries. We could go out the window. This reminds me of the hotel way back in the first one. It just looks the same with the balcony out the back. Oh, so we have to do the same sort of thing with, with Nico now. Okay. Um, oh, we may have to move that. And if we climb up it, then I think we push it again further and then we should be able to grab up onto that drain pipe perhaps or do we just jump that's spiky ouch somehow i was going to have to climb past the railing to reach the apartment windows what about the drain pipe yes yes uh, this is like a tomb raider <laughs> isn't it <laughs> Okay, so that room just here is that guy's window. Ah, oh, okay, okay, let's drop. That's, that won't be open. Through the grime, I could see a shape. A shape that looked a lot like a body. Well, where's the, where's the killer, though? It was the hacker's window, all right. Where's the killer? He should, so... The window was securely locked should still be in there we do have a pencil what's on her notepad vernon blear 8 a.m gunshots in vernon's apartment i think we could use this pencil on... i thought about it but decided against it why not it's a perfect idea all right well if we can't get through that way it has to be this way guys it has to be but how do we get in there then oh could we use that like to jimmy open the door damn the gap was just too tight to get the card in huh. what else can we use then maybe there's something else i need to pick up Looking through windows wasn't going to get me inside. I must have all that I need, otherwise it wouldn't put me here. Because now I can't get back, right? Oh, I can go over the railing. Oh, that door on the other side. I knew that climbing balconies was crazy. <laughs> but the story had me hooked and I wasn't about to let it go. Exactly. Let's try this door. This one's got to work. It was pretty dark, but I could just make out the shape of a bed. Mm -hmm. There was a gap, but the latch meant it was still closed. If there's a gap, then now we can use our card on this it's one. It's true. A press card can get you in any... Beautiful. Just one little wiggle between the window and the lock, and the latch lifted. Okay, okay, let's open it. Here goes. But surely the killer is going to still be in this apartment, right? Don't you think? It's not safe. Oh, I can see a TV. That open door looks a bit. The weird. wardrobe was stuffed with unwashed clothes. Ew, why? Disgusting. Why unwashed? <laughs> Look at the poster. <laughs> All right, what's that? A broken... An old monitor had been stuffed oh. in the corner. And we've got this monitor here too. Whoever did the dusting here never got round to the TV. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if we can use that wardrobe to hide in. Listen. I couldn't hear anything. Doesn't mean that it's safe though, but I don't think there's anything else for us to do. The guy was dead, all right. Oh. Where's the killer though? The picture was a pleasant touch. <laughs> Another Steve Jobs original. Nice. It's a golden apple. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is a massive apartment. Okay, so let's check out the guy. 
Shouldn't she be he calling must have been the police? Dead before he hit the ground, which ruled out CPR, thank God. I didn't fancy going mouth to mouth with that acne and those teeth. Oh, that's not nice, Nico. What's that on the ground? Something shiny caught my eye. Let's pick it up. It was a shell casing from the gun the oh, killer used. Oh, beautiful. I held on to it. I needed any clue I could find. Guys, surely the killer is still in this room because we didn't see him leave. Who needs ornaments when you've got a TV? This is not good. I knew I had to search the body. It was still warm. Exactly. All I could find was his business card. What's his Vernon name? Vernon oh. software consultant. This was the crazy geek I'd been due to meet, all wow. right. Maybe he wasn't so crazy after all. Wow, 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 wow. There was nothing else to be found on his body. Okay. This is dangerous. This is so dangerous. The computer had been wrecked. Someone had removed the hard drive in a hurry. Oh. The computer was badly damaged. Okay, there's nothing I can do with the computer then. Okay, we'll see if there's anything else in this room. I couldn't hear anything. This doesn't mean it's safe. The door was securely locked. If it's locked, then I can't just use, like, cards to get in, right? That wasn't appropriate. No, 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 no. I just think that that room is a nothing room then. There, another room. I couldn't hear anything. If the killer was still around, he wasn't in there. Okay, well, let's. it's free to enter then. What's in this room? Oh, it's the bathroom. Okay. The wash basin was surprisingly clean. The bathroom is massive. I'd always dreamed there were men out there capable of cleaning the toilet, <laughs> but he wasn't one of them. Oh, nice. Some things I just didn't need to examine. <laughs> there's, it looks like there's a, a bra hanging from the shower. I wonder if there was, if he lives with a, a lady. Okay, well this room is for nothing then. The door led back to the rest of the apartment. Okay. Let's head back. I did see another room. The kitchen. I think. Hang on. What's going on? <gasps> oh, that's her. Get away from those doors. Over here. She Where sounds like Nico. Okay. Whatever you say. I've been waiting a long time for the chance to do this. So, we've met before. What? Oh, yes. Really? You obviously didn't make an impression the first time. <laughs> you won't be so clever when I've killed you. Time's up! Oh, damn! Ah! <laughs> I think I, I needed to grab the frying pan, but you just have like a second to do, to do it. Time. You won't be so clever okay. when I've Come on, come on, come Time's on. Up. Get it, get it. <laughs> wow. Smack her out with the frying pan. You're come not on. going to stop us this time. Stop us. I never forget her face. So why had I forgotten hers? Ow! Oof. Who is she? I don't think we Whoa, she's relentless like the Terminator. No bullets. Damn! Ha! Idiot. Come back, you salop! I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's not nice. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Where did she disappear to? Could be anywhere, Nico. Can we go back inside? It was or? the kitchen door. Yes, we can actually go back inside. I don't know if we should or if we should go after that lady. I think I would like to check around and see if there's anything else that I can do here. Maybe there was a clue on the answer machine. You have three new messages. Popular. A Vernon, darling. It's Mamo here. I'm at my wit's end. <laughs> I've given your trousers three washes at 100 degrees and that stain still won't come out. <laughs> it's more like cement than mayonnaise. 
Anyway, the ironing's done. What? Oh, I hate these machines. <laughs> Au revoir, à dimanche. This is Nico Coladia from La Liberté. Just to say I'll be around at 8, as promised. Goodbye. Fernand, it's Beatrice. Beatrice. Good luck with the reporter. I'll be waiting <gasps> for you in the gardens afterwards. Let's go and find her. Love you, Snooky. Beatrice, that's his Snooky? girlfriend. That's his girlfriend. Perhaps I should make a call. Oh, to... Oh, I wanted to call George. Well, we'll call the newspaper. Better check in with my paper. And just tell them that the interview is off. The guy is dead. <laughs> News desk. Candice, is the old man in? Yes, but he's in a meeting. Right. Tell him that you'll need to get someone to cover for me this afternoon. Oh, so techno nerd <laughs> turned out to be a bit of a dish, did he? Not exactly. Let's just say the morning was full of surprises. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Anything you want to file? Still on the case. But you'll be the first to know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we can always tell her about him. By the way, have you got anything on this programmer? Just that he's one of the best in his field. Thanks. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> Maybe we should call that Andre Lobinu. Perhaps Ugh. I should make a call. Okay, let's see what he has to say for himself, this slimy dude. I wondered if Andre might have any ideas. Andre Lobino. Hi, Andre. My dear Nico, how are you? Having one of my interesting days? <laughs> I was about to interview a guy when somebody shot him. Mm. My God, are you hurt? I'm mm. okay, but the killer escaped before I could stop her. Her? her. A woman? Mm. That's right. And it's not the only strange thing. I think this is more than just your ordinary homicide. Oh dear. Are you off on one of your little <laughs> adventures again, Nico? Hey, what do you mean? I suppose at least that idiot Stobar isn't involved this time. Not yet. Andre, I was nearly killed. Okay, okay. Well, he did seem to care at the beginning, but not now. Trouble is, I can't find any leads to follow up. The killer must have left a trail of some kind. Search the whole area for clues. Okay. I'll see what I can turn up. All right. Bye. Andre, I'm going to get back to the investigation. Okay, Nico. Oh, and what I said earlier, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Andre. I ask for it sometimes. But you know, George, he was a lot of things. But he was never an idiot. Exactly. If you need my help, be sure to call me. Thank you, Nico. Thank you for sticking up for Georgie. Okay, uh, look, I'm curious about the shell casing it was the casing from one of the bullets the woman had fired um, i figured it could help in some way yes but how we can't um combine things can we i don't think there's anything there that we can use not yet anyway i think we still need to search around the his apartment. Oh, the bin. It's stuffed full. Yuck. Someone had thrown away a bank statement. Ah. Well, what's on it? Anything else in there? The trash can contained no clues. All right, so let's check out that bank statement. According to the bank statement, Vernon Blier was pretty short of money. Okay. Maybe that's why he'd planned on selling his story. It's quite possible. I don't think there's anything else, really. Ah. I pulled back the rug. One of the floorboards oh, was loose. Oh, the loose floorboard. Okay, so what's under that? The floorboard that? lifted up easily. In the she space below, there was a small safe. She just broke it. Oh, okay. Um. What do I do? The combination could be the same as the oh, number on the statement. Beautiful. But that slim hope vanished as soon as I keyed in the numbers. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. All right. Well, that's not going to work. Under the floorboard was a small safe with an electronic lock. Hmm. Okay. So we need to find something that would be a clue as to his special code. The computer was badly damaged. And there's nothing that I can use on that computer. No, I don't think so. Uh, let me have a look. 
at his business card. It was the card I'd found on the dead guy. His phone number was 01237480019. Could that be what I need? Let's go here and and try. Oh, the, yeah, the telephone number. Maybe the phone number matched the combination. I don't think so. That wasn't the case. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, so we need to find more things with numbers. So I've looked around everywhere that I can and I can't seem to find anything else. So <gasps> what about that Beatrice, that girl that he was wanting to meet? Can I get out of here? Maybe we could go and find her and she may know like his birthday or something because i'm 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 pretty sure that it would have to be one of those combos like his birthday maybe she just knows, another locked door uh the the safe combination right let's go see if we can meet up with her i think when in doubt search the trash <laughs> yes exactly you know there was nothing of interest no you're not gonna find the combination there there had to be a clue around here somewhere Okay, let's keep looking. But not in there. <laughs> What's that? It was just an old sheet of newspaper. Hmm. But you never know what might come in handy. Exactly. Oh, there's a pipe. What do we do with the... Oh, we climb the pipe? Oh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's not good. I couldn't climb it now. The pipe was broken. Oh, no. Is there anything that we can do with that, with the pipe? I don't think so. There's nothing that we can do. Not this time. Okay. I think I'll just, I'll leave the pipe for now. I don't think I have anything to put in the pipe. Okay. Look, I am wondering about the park that I can see next door. I couldn't open the door. It was locked. All right. Because this looks like a park. I can see trees. Maybe Beatrice is here. The gate was locked. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let, let's go for a wander. Oh, wow. We can actually, like, leave this place. Surely that's a park over there. How far can we go? Oh, we can run. Beautiful. Hey, dude. Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. Oh, please. You are looking for something? I might be. <laughs> you have come to the right place. <laughs> right place, right guy, huh? That's how it looks to me, too. <laughs> Were you around awesome. a little earlier? Well, I've been around a while. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm a reporter, and I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, the dark-haired woman. Did you see a woman run past a little earlier? Don't think so. Women usually slow down on this corner. They probably can't believe what they're hearing. <laughs> what? I said I can quite believe it. <laughs> you could try a Twitcher. Twitcher? Who's he? She. Who's the traffic warden. Oh, Doesn't miss a thing. Okay. Um, let's ask him about this Vernon. Do you happen to know a guy called Vernon? The coder? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's cool. Hangs out in the park with his girlfriend. Where's the park? Just down there, where Twitcher hangs about. About Vernon? Yeah? I'm afraid he's been killed. Shot. Oh man, that's too bad. Still, a neighborhood like this, only the brave survive. <laughs> huh? Awesome. Have you seen a shell casing before? Sure. It's from a real gun. <laughs> big deal. It was a big deal. For somebody. Yes, it is. Hey, you should get yourself a new photographer, honey. Oh, do you think so? Drop by my studio sometime. No thanks, see you. So where's your posse? What? Big guy like you? Gotta have a posse, surely. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, uh... I got two. Wow. <laughs> How about you? you? You got a posse? Oh yeah, but I like to keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. 
Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Bye. All right, so we need to find the Twitcher and the park. Let's just go. Oh, there is a lady here sweeping up. She looks like a waitress or. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. I tell you, I have had enough of this job. <laughs> Day in, day out, the same old drudgery. Yeah, and... why don't you give it up then? Give it up? <laughs> Who do you think you are telling me to give up my job? Well, calm I down. Thought, thought you were too good for the likes of me, I expect? No, not at all. Wow. I didn't mean. I was a dancer once, you know. At Le Moulin Rouge. So <laughs> stick that on your velo and the right. That's fine, That's lady. Wonderful. Yep. Of course. Good. Alphonse. <laughs> He wouldn't have any of it. I'll not have you fleshing your knickers out of a Paris, he said. <laughs> Get a proper job. <laughs> so added a real liberated man. <laughs> he was an angel. I won't hear a word against him. This lady is so conflicted. Do you know a young man called Vernon? I'm sure I don't know what you're suggesting. <laughs> I am a married woman. Of course, between you and me, in my dancing days, it was a different matter. Yes, of course. Did you see a dark-haired woman a short time ago? No. Perhaps that the uh, traffic warden might help. Okay. She always knows what's going on. Okay, so she's the one. Where the, will I find her? Down by the park. By the park. All right. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Goodbye. Au revoir. She wasn't much help at all, but maybe we go and see her again some other time. There's our mate with the skateboard. Oh my goodness, uh, how far I can I... I considered leaving the area. Oh. Nico's apartment... Well, no, 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 we don't want to go. But decided to remain here. Yes, yes, so that's just how we get away from this area. Okay, so the park then must be down this way. Yes, that has to be the park with all of those trees. So... Is that the traffic warden? Yes. And there's the park. And in the back is Beatrice, that um, Vernon's girlfriend. Bonjour. Yes. I wonder if you can help me. I doubt it. And anyway, <laughs> I'm on duty. It's pretty quiet this morning. It's Sunday. What do you expect? Tell me. Did you see a dark-haired woman a short time ago? No. You seem very sure. My job is to look at cars, hmm. not people. I must find her. She nearly killed me. How terribly dramatic. As a matter of fact, <laughs> it was. Spare me the story, wow. please. This lady doesn't care. Does she know anything about this guy? Do you happen to know a young computer programmer called Vernon? Does he have a car? Not that I'm aware of. Then it is highly unlikely that I have met him. True. She does seem to be very only interested in looking at the vehicles, which is her job, understandably. Bah! What does this prove? Oh. Any fool can throw together a fake ID. True, but only a real fool would impersonate a journalist at my paper. Hmm. Take a look at this. Interesting. 12 millimeter. And recently fired. Does she know? That's right. But how do you know about firearms? Let us just say, oh. I have not always been a traffic warden. What else can you tell me about it? From the head stamp, manufactured in Prague. And the gun itself, the new Magnum, if I'm not wrong. Clever. You can tell all that from the shell? You just have to know what to look for. It came from the gun of the woman who tried to kill me. This is not a Saturday night special. You are dealing, I think, with professional killers. Can you help me? Fire away. Ha! My little joke. <laughs> okay, now we've got her on our Did side. Did you see a dark-haired woman running by here earlier? Was she the one who fired those shots? Yes. Yes, that's right. Sorry, I didn't oh, see her. Damn it. I wish I had. Hmm. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Well, she can't help. Nobody can help. You know what? I'm going to go back and talk to the lady that was sweeping because I didn't show her my uh, business card. And perhaps you have to show everyone like the press card to advance 
certain stories. Bonjour, madame. Pah! You again, huh? <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? She's a real ray of sunshine. It happens to all of us. No one escapes. What do you mean? Look at the picture. Your looks have gone already. <gasps> Just what a girl likes to hear. Wow. That, that didn't do anything. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir. Uh, maybe there's something that I need to do with... Um, this pipe. Is there anything that I can do in here? See that the... I'm sure I can do something with that. Can I grab that bin and... No. Nothing but trash. I thought I could sort of move it over. I couldn't climb it now. The pipe mm, was broken. Okay. I can climb the wall. That takes me to... Oh, that... That's not the park, actually. That's just some... Okay. Uh, let's... All right, all right. Get down, Nico. Why aren't you getting down, girl? <laughs> she doesn't want to get down. Why is that not working? There we go. <laughs> Look, guys, the controls are interesting, to say the least. Okay. What's that? There looks like there's something on that pillar. What's the deal with this yard? It's just a blank little courtyard thing. What's that? What have we here? It was a wig, <gasps> an expensive one too. The lady. But more important, it was an exact copy of my own style. That's why the traffic warden didn't see a yes, dark-haired woman. Yes. Exactly. She, um, that the the killer uh, just wore a wig. That that's a wig. That's a wig. The gate was locked. Oh, it's still locked from this side. Okay. That uh, she wore a wig, right? Get up. So now we know that she's not actually dark-haired. So interesting. I wonder if we can go and now tell the... Look, I'm lost. <laughs> if we can go tell the traffic warden that she wore a wig. Bonjour. Yes. Yes, wig. Wig, wig. Take a look at this wig. Very interesting. As wigs go. <laughs> I found it. When? Aren't you the clever one? Well... It belonged to the killer. So, you really are connected with the shooting. That's right. And I need all the help I can get. Hmm. Well, she doesn't have anything to say. Come on, man. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. <sighs> all right. Let's um go and talk to the skateboard fellow and see if he knows anything about the wig. There he is. Hey, dude. How you going? Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. <laughs> nice board. Hey, it's not uh, just a board. It's uh, what you do with it. Oh, so, so I hear. <laughs> Take a look at this wig. Yeah, nice, but not really my style. It belonged to the woman who killed Vernon. Woman, huh? <laughs> it's a cruel city out there. He doesn't have anything to say either. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Oh my God. What about this cranky lady? Bonjour, madame. Pah. You again, huh? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh my God. Well, do you know anything about the wig? This wig belongs to someone I'm looking for. Nice. Mm. At Le Moulin Rouge, we always had such beautiful wigs. <laughs> have you seen anyone wearing this wig? No. Was she a dancer? <sighs> Something much worse. A killer. A singer, then. <laughs> Nobody knows. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir. Nobody knows about this wig. The label inside had been cut out. The killer had covered her tracks. Almost. There were a few strands of blonde <gasps> hair inside. Oh. 
So the woman I'm after really has blonde hair, not black. I see. Then can I talk to everyone about a blonde lady? Bonjour, madame. Pah. You again, uh... huh? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, I get it, guys. I reckon with everything that I pick up, I should definitely look at it first for additional clues. Blonde woman. There we go. Have you seen a young blonde woman by any chance? I certainly have. Skinny looking thing. Like you. Thanks. Which way did she go? She got into a sports, sports car, car and drove off. Do you happen there to know go. the make of car? What do you take me for? Some kind of mechanic? You'll have to ask someone else. There we go. There we go. Okay. Just one thing. Your husband, oh. Alphonse. Is he around? No. I thought perhaps he might have seen something. It's unlikely. He's dead, I Why? think. He left me 20 years oh. ago. Ran away. Oh. With a singer? That's amazing. <laughs> How did you know? Lucky guess. Yeah, she hates singers. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. And I think I have learnt as well that I definitely need to look at everything that I pick up. Dude, come back, come back, come back. Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. Blonde woman and sports car. The woman I'm looking for is a blonde. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> You're a funny guy. <laughs> hey, I am too, please. But seriously, didn't you say you were looking for a woman with dark hair? Did I? You've got me all confused now. Hmm. I know. Uh, I have that effect on women. Oh my God. I haven't seen any women running around. Most babes tend to stop when they see how I can handle a ball. Oh my goodness, dude. Don't suppose you saw a sports car in the area earlier? The red E-type Jag, you oh. mean? Yes. Why did you notice it? I used to run one a little like it. Did you happen to get the registration number? Hey, there's only one set of numbers I like. <laughs> and I'm not talking shoe size, huh? Thanks. Oh my god. Anyway. Okay. I hope you catch the killer. Thanks. I will. We will. We have... We Thanks have, for your help. Goodbye. We're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere. And I feel really good. So let's go and chat to... Oh, we can actually open that door. The door was shut fast oh. and wouldn't open. Okay, maybe that's something that we can come back to later on in the game. Okay, now let's go and chat to these controls, guys. <laughs> They're funny. We'll go and chat to the traffic warden. Now she will have some info for us. Bonjour. Yes. The sports car. Did you see the E-Type Jag that was in the area earlier? Yes, I did. Beautiful. I believe it belonged to the killer. And they say crime doesn't pay. <laughs> what can you tell me about it? It was parked illegally. I gave it a ticket. Great. Do you have the registration number? Uh, here it is. Yes. 451 CAC 75. Beautiful. Merci. Excellent. Can you tell me anything else about the car? Hmm. You know, there was some kind of mask on the passenger seat. Wow. Mask? You mean like a child's mask? No, an old mask. The kind they wear in the theater. Merci, madame. You've been a great help. It is but a courtesy from one professional to another. Oh, of course. Right. That is so good. Sounds like the police are on their way. Oh. I would appreciate it if you kept our little conversation to yourself. You understand. Of course. I wouldn't want to blow your cover. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> By the way, just who do you work for? Can I trust you? Of course. One day soon, the aliens will land. <laughs> we are preparing to fight them. <gasps> Excuse me? You may me? join us if you wish. That's uh, very kind of you. Very kind, But yes. I have to go now. Au revoir. Awesome. Okay, so the police are... police are here. Who called the police though? Maybe someone called them about the shots. What's How going on? They know? There has been a murder. We are questioning everyone in the area. What is your name? Nicole Collard. It's her, alright. <gasps> Please come with us. Oh, because we look the same. Oh, because of the hair. And we do look and very similar is... to come that on, lady. Speak up. Nicole Collard. Aha. 
The woman he had arranged <gasps> to meet. No. She's a tough one, I think, sir. Like me to loosen her tongue a little. Not quite yet. Oh, no. Your identity card, please. My press card. A journalist. Typical. You have a problem with journalists? Only the spineless, lying, interfering variety. <laughs> Looks like I'm in trouble then. <laughs> She's the murderer, monsieur! Oh, come Lock on! Lock her up before she kills us all! Don't. Control yourself, madame. I'm conducting an investigation here. And we're getting on so well. <laughs> How did you know the dead man? He contacted me through my paper. He wanted to meet. Why? Some nonsense about the end of the world. Why did you kill him? I didn't. But you admit you were here. He was already dead when I arrived. I broke in through the bedroom window. The killer was still here. And? We fought through there, in the kitchen. Then she ran off down the fire escape, and I lost her. Hmm. There are certainly signs of a struggle. Inspector. We. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Let's tell him about the blonde woman. The woman I fought was really a blonde. The neighbor said she had dark hair. Wig, I'll show you, I'll she show you. She wore a wig. How very convenient for you. I'll show you, look, I've got it. Here's the wig the killer wore. I'll take that as evidence. Where did you find it? Over the wall at the back of the apartment. Oh, I see. How oh, terrible. You've been framed. Please. Correct, Inspector. She's the killer. I saw her with my own eyes. Shut up. Um, we could tell him about the sports car. I've got the number of the killer's car. My, you are being helpful. Are you quite sure you're a journalist? <laughs> Do you want the number or not? Very well. 451 CAC 75. Thanks. Uh, let's tell me about ourselves then. How did you know Vernon was due to meet me? Your message on the answer phone. <gasps> yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Have you any idea why he was killed? None at all. Perhaps it was to stop him talking to me. Not everybody rates journalists so highly, mademoiselle. <laughs> well, what am I going to do? Am I free to go? Don't let her get away! Oh, shut up. The evidence is clear enough. <gasps> I'm placing you under arrest, mademoiselle Collard. Wow. Officer, take her away. Great. With pleasure, sir. Great. So now Nico's in jail. Under arrest for this murder that we did not do now we're back with georgie oh that is so exciting i'm gonna leave the episode here but i really enjoyed that so far i do like that it does seem to shift between george and nico and you get to sort of have two stories two adventures somehow the two of these guys have got to have their stories intertwined perhaps nico will call george for help from the the jail cell as she doesn't have really have anyone else to talk to turn to maybe Andre but that's I don't know I would rather call George if I was her and it also makes me think the people that are involved with this killing that George witnessed they must also be involved with the killing that Nico was involved with as well it, does that does that make sense i think that these two sides of the story are interlinked and there's definitely it's definitely the same group of people for the same reason that they've killed that shalmondry guy i can't say that name it's too weird and also that that poor vernon uh, they have to be linked because vernon was talking about the end of the world or something so i think everything here is sort of linked together all right guys that's where we're going to leave this episode i really hope you enjoyed i really like it i enjoy the 3d style i think it's fun and it's different and i i love it i personally love it it's very fun but the controls are quite clunky uh, I'm struggling a little bit, but that's the only criticism I have of it at the moment, that I'm just struggling slightly with the controls. Other than that, it seems really good so far. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again really soon in the next video. Bye.